So the first thing I noticed when I started inspecting was this 2x2 block on red. So I started looking for the other two pieces uh, and I found them here and here. Um, and I could easily connect them by doing uh, U' B2. Additionally I saw the DFDB edges uh, were here and here and that they would not uh, get changed in any way by doing the U' B2. And then finally when inserting the pair created here, um, everything would just move up by a quarter turn. So that was basically all I inspected. I knew that the DFDB edges would be here and here, and that this would be connected to the center. Um, so yes, I started this off with U prime B2, U, R right, B prime, and then um, you might already see this pair here. Uh, I don't think I noticed it uh, in inspection, but it will be useful later. So I solved the FDB with a U prime R right, U prime R right. Then uh, this pair is a very easy case. And now we have uh, this EO case, which is just a, a hedge. Um, and this Lexus case is not really amazing, but it's okay. It's from this angle RE to R prime, and then solve this case like this. Then I did a U prime to recognize ZBLL because I need this pattern here for all the T cases. And then I realized I had to do a U2 again and do the algorithm. So this was a 6.47. The move count was 47 moves, so just a bit better than average for APB, but nothing really special. This solve had over 70 PS, which is quite good for me. Usually the good solves are good because they have a low move count, but this one had good TPS as well.